Ahmed has come back to the bakery where he used to work. There's not an awful lot left, thanks to the looters, the Alibabas, as the Iraqis describe them to the British. It's hard to work out whether he wants to lock up what's left or move back in. And equally hard to explain to Ahmed that he can come back soon, but for the moment his bakery is a regimental headquarters. You know, he obviously wants to move, move back in, but we've, we've now put it across it. We'll be here sort of four or five days, um, and the way that, that his system is in there. So, so hopefully, we, we move out of here shortly, and he moves back in, and we're all happy. Clearly, Ahmed wants to get back to earning a living, and that's exactly what everybody in this city must do if Basra is to get back on its feet. Cities, even in this state, are complicated to run. They need magistrates, civil servants, people to begin to mend the roads. Most of all, at the moment, the slums need water and the streets need police officers. This is a start. At the weekend, one of Basra's police stations reopened with the help of the Irish guards. And Iraqi policemen are now manning roadside checkpoints, working alongside the British soldiers looking for stolen cars. But the army here is well aware they could be putting people linked to Saddam's regime back on the beat, and two British police officers are now in the city helping to vet the policemen returning to work. Ultimately, though, it's not the British, but the Basrans who must be allowed to decide who they want to protect them. Catherine Jones, 5 News.